It is, as always, an absolute pleasure to meet you. Not simply because this is what politeness dictates and diplomacy that I should say this, but because, realistically speaking, we have really felt the European Commission under your leadership closer than ever before. And the sensitiveness, the sensitivity which was recognized even when you served as Minister of Defense towards this part of Europe, the Western Balkans, has been emphasized, I would say, even more, and it has become more tangible with you at the helm of the Commission. We are absolutely aware of the fact that, thanks to you personally, we have had even stronger and larger support than we would have normally had after the catastrophic earthquake of a few years ago. Just as we are fully aware of the fact that even now in this situation, which is so difficult for everyone, not just us, yet again, thanks to the approach of the Commission vis-à-vis -vis the Western Balkans and, of course, thanks to your personal approach, yet again, we are not alone. Therefore, I wish to thank the President wholeheartedly for this stop in Tirana. We have been together just now to see the works of the new railway and at last, in this case, not because of bureaucracy or red tape in the Commission but another type of bureaucracy of the EBRD instead, the project has commenced much, much later than we had envisaged. However, we find ourselves in the situation in which we can say that in the spring of 2024, we will have the railway axis Tirana to Duras and Tirana to Duras Rinas and Rinas Duras Tirana. On the other hand, it goes without saying that today's meeting was of special value and significance because the President informed us about the whole situation, financial situation, in the conditions of a war in which bombs and wounds have been felt across the Ukraine. However, the repercussions of these bombs and wounds are also felt across Europe, including us here in Albania, via the stratospheric prices of uh, the energy market, and also by way of inflation, which has um, touched us all without excluding anyone, unfortunately. I informed the President of our approach, of our resoluteness, that we will continue to support in all ways, shape and form, s families, households, the small businesses, so as not to touch the price of electricity. And what this means is this a considerable weight uh, in the state budget. But we believe that this is a reasonable weight to carry nonetheless. And on the other hand, we have also spoken a little, but we will meet again later, on an extraordinary um, event for Albania, the first of its kind in the history and that in history, and that is on the 6th of December in Tirana, we shall have the EU Western Balkans Summit with the Western Balkans. And of course, that means that all of the EU leaders and leaders of the Western Balkans shall come to Tirana for this summit. So in other words, Tirana in 
the most impressive way, if truth be told, um, the stage of a European uh, f final in football, for actually, not the final, but uh, still it was at the first half of the year, and now it becomes the stage of a huge European political event f of the highest level in the second half of this year. So therefore, I would say that in this aspect, we're talking about two events which just a few years ago, nobody could have possibly conceived, let alone for us to live through all this. So th I thanked uh, the president. Also, in relation to this matter, because I am absolutely convinced that in the possible elections, even though uh, she won't accept this and she, she won't probably accept this to me, you have been Tirana's advocate. Thank you. Faleminderit, Zotic Reminister, Ida Shuredi, a 